not adjust your screen. You are now about to enter the world of the Knights of War. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm here with a new series that I wanted to bring leading up to Haunt Season. You know, you guys see a lot of uh, great scare actors out there. A lot of great scare actors. Um, and I'm fortunate enough to have interviewed, be friends with, or just hang around with a lot of these awesome scare actors. Uh, they, 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 they bring in blood, sweat, and tears, and uh, we couldn't be thankful for them all the time. So I thought it'd be fun to do a show where this time the scare actors react to the mazes, uh, which we're going to call Haunters React. Uh, this is going to go on until the start of haunt season, um, and we're going to have a bunch of different uh, people. I'm already talking with some of the Queen Mary Sliders. But our first guest for the debut episode today, none other than one of the Queen Mary Sliders himself, uh, Mr. Cavities. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, man. So, Haunters React, man. Uh, I, I chose the fun part about this is I won't know what the what the video is or the explanation is to the video until before we start this. Um, so we found out the video. Uh, you chose Trick or Treat Lights Out at Not Scary Farm in Buena Park, California. What is the reasoning behind that? Reason why I picked it for those of you that are watching. Probably a good amount of you have actually went through that maze. I haven't been to so previously to 2018. I haven't been to Not Scary Farm in eight plus years. Damn. I used to go a lot in middle school, high school. I used to go a lot during then, and that's what got me into the haunt community. Like got me into wanting to do sliding, but didn't have a group of friends to actually do it. We talked about that on our last um, episode. Um, go to an ounce of that episode. Good stuff there. Um, from there, I didn't know what was expected in that maze. I thought it was just going to be like like ghouls and trick-or-treat stuff. I was <laughs> like, all right, cool. All the sliders knew what my biggest fear was. So, of course, they made sure we all got on that maze. And, yes, that was a maze I was not expecting. I was like, all right, cool. We got a flashlight. <laughs> goofing off walking through the rooms i think it was like the third or fourth room i just see kill us he just starts like uh, skipping to the front of the the lane and i forgot who was up there in the front with him they're up in the front evil and rampage are behind me i'm like all right so i ended up being in the middle we go in and all i see is just this weird little girl and like in the, the little dress just like yeah. in front of me i'm like <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. You got me. You got you're me. Like, I'm in a Conjuring film now. Fuck this. Yeah, because it was just like you, you had the flashlight. It's a pitch black room, and all of a sudden, yeah. just pfft, I'm like, oh shit, good. You got me. You got me. <laughs> Kept walking, and then I see Killis cavities. Why don't you take a look and say hi to all your friends? As I turn, it's just wall to wall to wall of just straight dolls. I tried turning around and running out. Evil and Rampage are right there. They picked me up twisting me around i tried going kill this tried jumping in front of me and i just tried to juke him out crawled dropped to the floor crawled between his legs and ran out and then i think there was two girls in that room at the time that were the the maze monsters right and they're just jumping on the bed just giggling i'm like ah, and poof, booked it out of the room Damn, and so from dude. there on the rest of the maze was just like terrifying to me because i wasn't sure if there was gonna be another freaking room like that so, uh are you yeah. ready to are you ready to relive your trauma then? Yeah, let's yeah. go. All right, so we're going to be all of us, you guys, us, we're going to be watching the POV of Trick or Treat Lights Out, uh graciously filmed by uh Theme Park HD. Go check out his stuff. Guy puts amazing uh POVs and whatnot of theme park attractions and haunted attractions and stuff. So check them out. Link will be in the description below. But here we go. Trick or treat lights on or lights out. Should I say? I'm sorry. Uh, th I, 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 here's a little trivia for you. I never got to go through this, this version of the maze. I've been through trick or treat, but I never got to go through lights out and I really wanted to. So uh, this is going to be fun to watch. Um, 
Without further ado, Cavities, you ready? Let's go. Here we go in three, two, one. Already, huh? That opening facade right there, dude. Yeah. Right there, that's what tricked me. That was a... Let's just take a moment to enjoy that facade, though, dude. That's a beautiful house facade. Look at that entr entrance, man. It feels like you're in Halloween, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. maybe. It definitely looks nice. That's, like, honestly, Hornet's yeah. quality shit right there, dude. Yeah. Especially since it's really dark. Right. You don't really have to put extreme amounts of detail into it. Yeah. Just because it's a small little flashlight, a small little twinkle that's going through. So they didn't need to go heavily but into it. It's not even but that, too. Look at that. That's fucking nuts right there. Imagine that, dude. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. uh, no, you know what's, what it is, is they already had the maze built, so they kind of just left it as is throughout the years when it was mm -hmm. regular trick-or-treat. And all they did was just shut off the lights and then made those flashlights things. So that, that that's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a way to save money, right? That you pretty much design a whole new maze. But it's the same concept. Yeah. It's the same maze, but different concept. Yeah. You know, it's like, I wasn't... Uh, yeah. yeah, that's the room. I mean, that's terrifying on its own right there. I'll give you that one. That's some uh, See, it was, it was the goat that went running across. Yeah, that's the room. He's having a hard time even watching it, guys. It's I'm watching him watch it, too. I'm just like... They just fucking took scenes out of American Horror Story. Like, imagine, walk, imagine being Justin and having to walk through that with only a flashlight. And then that's like, the, you turn the corner, you point the flashlight, and that doll is the first thing you see. Mm -hmm. Like, that already sets the tone for Justin right there. <laughs> Better hope Dark Harbor never does a fucking doll maze. They do. <laughs> Which one is that? Lullaby. I, I Yeah. I, in a way, yeah. Mm -hmm. She has a doll. So. And then 2017, they did. It was literally just a room of mannequins. They were like ballerinas. Are you that afraid of that kind of shit too? Mannequins, not so much. Even though um, I think it was called Waxworks that took this spot's place. That one yeah. did have some rooms that were kind of like, mm, but not as bad. As this. Uh, yeah. It's more so, more so dolls that but mainly porcelain dolls are the ones that get me. Yeah, this fucking thing's kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. The lighting on that's cool. Like I didn't, even, like I kind of suspected she was real, but at the same time, the lighting's so good it makes it look like mm -hmm. she's not. Yeah. Damn, I missed a good time. They had a full-blown cat in the maze, bro. Come on. Mm -hmm. I definitely like how, like, the flashlights, you couldn't control the flashlight. Only where it was yes. pointing is what you're able to control. Yeah. And from there, it itself would turn to a black light, to a regular flashlight. That's cool. And it actually vibrated, too. It had the, oh, fuck, what is it called? The, the hip, you know, like, when you tap your phone, like, for the screen, it vibrates. The yeah. Hip, I forgot. It's something hypnotic, hip, hip top, whatever. That where you could feel it vibrating in your hand, which is like you point at a certain thing and it. Because see, like with something like this, like I'm still trying to figure out how waxwork ties into that whole origin storyline. Like this right here mm. made perfect sense as why it tied into the storyline. You know what I mean? Like Sarah Marshall's in this damn thing, so. Mm -hmm. And those little freaking uh, fishing lines that hang down, I hate those because they will like literally get in my beard. It makes it look feel like there's a spider in my beard. Here's a here's a solution to that shave. No, I did that once. All right, that was mm -hmm. trick or treat lights out, man. I, I I mean that doll, like you know after you know you, you were explaining, it, I'm like it can't be that scary, and then I seen the doll and I was like, oh, yeah. If you have a flashlight, and you mm -hmm. just turn the corner. Yeah, it makes a it makes a big difference, man. It does. Yeah. So obviously, haunt season is returning this year. Uh, we've already gotten official announcements from Halloween Horror Nights from uh, Not Scary Farm. We got confirmation Six Flags is coming back. Um, I think the only thing we're waiting on right now is like Los Angeles Haunted Hayride and more news about SeaWorld Talos Scream.
But uh, what are your uh, what's your most anticipated haunt this year, man? What do you want to go check out? What do you want to go see? What are you excited to go back to? So I'm definitely excited to see what Universal is going to do, just because they were the first ones to say, "Hey, guess what?" Yeah. They were the first ones to actually say it, and it was just a, it was just what a few months ago. Not said, "Hey, we are like 90 percent. We're coming back." Yeah, and so it's just like I feel like when it comes to knots, it's going to be a lot of like the same stuff again. Just to like bring back the the energy, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't anticipate there being a lot of new stuff. Like I'm not talking shit on the hunt. I love that place. I just don't feel like they had enough time to build new. But if they did, it's like setting the expectation low and hitting it high. Yeah, like I'll I'll be excited for it either way. I'm still gonna go see that hunt. I still have a ton of friends over there that I'm gonna go visit. So it's just like. I don't see there being new stuff, but if there is, I'm going to fucking be there. I am excited because since I am not tied down to a hunt this year and having to work a hunt, I am going to try hitting everything. I am going to go to Universal. I'm going to go to Nods. I'm going to go to Six Flags. I'm going to hit all of our local haunts, especially if SeaWorld does it. I'm going to do it. But, excuse me, I am trying to go out to Universal and hit their, I mean, sorry, Orlando and hit their haunts over there i'm just saying september 9th through the 12th i'll be there so if you want to join up especially if you're not working on you know i will definitely try just because that's a little bit short notice because of work it works a pain in the ass when it comes to that stuff say it's a family emergency man just be like someone died (laughs) i gotta go to florida And they do know I'm Cuban, so I have family out there. And then just be like, I'm just kidding. No one died. Everybody's fine. (laughs) Mm. Uh, But so Halloween Horror Nights is probably your most anticipated this year then? Yeah. Especially with the three announcements we've already gotten, Haunting the Hill House, uh, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives, and of course the Texas Mm -hmm. Chainsaw Massacre coming to the event confirmed. On top of that, mm-hmm. the return of the, uh, they've already confirmed this last year when they, uh, when they closed it down, but, uh, the Walking Dead full time attraction will be making its return as well, so you can expect that. Um, oh, that's coming back. I thought they completely gutted it. No, they I, said they were going to bring it back for Horror Nights, so it's still there. It's still good to go. So uh, it's just not going to be a year round attraction anymore. No, I, I think I think it gets. I think it will get one more year at Horror Nights, like this year, to kind of send it off and then maybe gut it and change it to something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, bring back Universal uh, Universal House of Horrors. I missed that. Mm-hmm. But um, Universal, man, it's going to be a good... I think it's going to be a fun one this year. I'm really excited for it, just to go back to the major haunts again, though. But Yeah. Hey, man. Well, I, oh, what, go ahead. I was going to say, it's, it definitely feels good. Like, things are slowly getting back to normal. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, can't wait to go and see it. Yeah. But uh, hey, man, I really appreciate you coming on, taking the time out of your day to come do this, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, just tune in every Friday, man. We're going to have different scare actors, actresses come on to the... Pod, not the pod, it's not a podcast, it's a show. Haunters react, man. It, it's going to be good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he finally found a way to squeeze it in. But um, No, it's going to be good. We're going to have a lot of uh, great people coming on. Uh, a lot of people have already given me the thumbs up that they want to do it. Uh, so every Friday here on the channel, Haunters react from now all the way to the start of haunt season. We're going to be doing this to get you guys hyped for the event, to get the scare actors that are working some of these events this year hyped for the event. So they can give you 110%. Even though I know that's not even a question. Everyone's going to give 110% that opening night because it's been a year and a half and we need to come home. So Mm -hmm. with all that being said, uh, go ahead and follow Justin on Instagram at QMDH underscore cavities if you want to keep up with cavities and whatnot. Uh, And uh, go ahead and subscribe to us on here on YouTube. Subscribe button with that bell notification be aware every time we put up a new video. Instagram at the Knights of Horror and Twitter at Knights of Horror. Go ahead and give us a follow on those. Keep up what we're doing outside of YouTube. With all that being said, appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys next week for another episode of Haunters React.